No, no, the the, uh, you, the hybrids. Yeah, you told me you wanted to get some hybrids. I know, but I got them. I got oh. them. I took out like 36 the other day. <laughs> What's that? They're waiting on you to feed them, ain't they? Yeah, I make you feed them. I'm gonna let them piranha this night crawler. Is that cool? Yeah, that'll probably be ugly. There they are. That's like chumming it. Oh, look at them. They're pretty smart, though. Oh, slammed it. <laughs> slammed it. So I'm over here at my friend Chris' house. Chris has been working for a while stocking this pond of his with big hybrids. We're going to play around. He says I can't keep any yet. Not yet. <laughs> I don't blame him. I want to see them grow big. I want to see them grow to their potential. And, uh, we talk a lot about uh, pond management. Chris also has these fat heads. If you can see them. Yeah, you can. All the way around, you can see them. If you walk around. Anyone who's serious about pond management is going to be stocking lots of fathead minnows. That's how you grow big fish. So, we're going to get into this. But first, last night I was up on Schaefer with my friend Doug, and here's a few clips from that. Stand by. You don't mind if I film, do you? Look at I, this rig. I can't promise that I won't drop any up there. How high are these gun laws? That's what I like. You take this to Lake Michigan, no problem. I think they're falling. Oh, well, it's a, it's a Thursday afternoon. And I'm meeting up with Doug here. We're going to do some live scoping. Maybe some drop shot. I don't know. Look at this rig. Holy cow. So that's the live scope up there. Yeah, the, the big Garmin up there, that's a 12 inch. I use that for the live scope. Uh, then use this for down and side imaging, which the side imaging on this is pretty badass. You can switch it to your side. I've never run side imaging. No, I've never run live scope. So you can see. Is your map? Does it have Taco with it? Yeah, that's what it's set up at here. Let's go back and work. Now the wind's gonna ruin this on my microphone. So those dots were all your waypoints previous? Yes. Clear the active tracks. <laughs> That's pretty crazy, man. Oh, there's a big one on the bottom. What is that, dude? That's crazy. He came up to go back there and look at me. He make a fun of you. I'm filming this for all the old guys that watch my show. So his he's got an app on his phone that is communicating with all his batteries on board. I've never even heard of this. Yeah. It'll tell you the voltage, the amps that it's pulling. It says this this battery it's gone. Yeah, well that runs off a 16 volt battery. And it it died. I had it plugged in for two days, all since I got a hold of you earlier in the week. So. Something about this, I'm not supposed to fish. <laughs> Something about this 30 feet of water. <laughs> I got some deep diving cranks. We're in a spot. I've been wanting to troll all summer. And I, I really don't know why I just ain't got down here yet. Here. Left, right, speed it up. Okay. And uh, finally got down here. And the battery that runs all the electronics died. <laughs> Murphy's Law. So I've studied the top of the map enough that we're going to stay in the deepest section here. 
This is a pretty wicked troll motor here. This is what I need for the uh, Uncle Jeff mobile. Maybe we get that uh, fish breading moving, get some money coming in. Yeah, I think we're right at the right speed here. Be on top. Oh no. No, no. A bird nest. I think I fixed it. Skunk is out. Now we can get on the fish in here. <laughs> but he got a pontoon with twin 450Rs on it. <laughs> and he, it was like he had ripped from one side of the lake to the next. <laughs> that's all oop, oop, he oop. did. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ah, he's decent. That's pretty good crappie. That is a nice crappie. You want him? Yeah, well, I'll just turn him in live well. Okay. My, other, my old boat had a nice live well on it. I don't have one in the new one. What you charge me to fit a nice live well up in my deck? Can you grab that mic? another good crappie oh yeah get up here get up here oh I thought he was bigger than that oh, he'll clean you want him he'll clean the night crawler oh, that, oh that was a big one that was a big one he slammed that. He buried my bobber. I seen it. Oh, I finally got one on. Yo, look at the size of that. Boy, he is. Look how. Look how How do you tell your hybrids from regulars? Um, well, a lot of it's the size of the mouth. That's a regular. That's a regular old bluegill. Yep, that's a regular old bluegill. That's a nice bluegill. You'll notice like on the, the hybrids, their bottom fins will have a yellow tint and their bottom side, the whole yeah. bottom side will and have a mouth, little bit of a yellow tint. Mouth yeah. is much larger. And they have some of uh, like the turquoise, like the pumpkin seed. Okay. Uh, uh, sunfish yeah so that's that's how you can tell and plus like you can probably fit two of your thumbs in the mouth okay cool got me one Ooh, feisty oh i got a hybrid get up here yep you can see how their mouth's bigger what a chunk. Not one of the long ones Chris was talking about. But that's not one of the bigger ones, but you can tell by the mouth how it's much bigger. And he's got that yellow on his bottom fins there. Success. Get him. He's just a little guy. Nah, he's good. He's good. Still trying to get into the hybrids, though. You ain't gonna let me outfish you on home court advantage, are you? I'm not even trying, yet. <laughs> I am Uncle Jeff, so. I know, you are Uncle Jeff. Be careful. 
Be careful. But I'm cousin Chris. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> What is this? I think I got a bass. No. Oh. I got another bluegill. Yeah. I'll be dang boy, these are some nice gills. These are fatty, isn't it? Boy he is look how thick he is. Chris said he hasn't even fed him since uh Wednesday. This one's a little more slimier than the other. So we're we're constantly talking about pond management to get the optimal results out of your pond. This is like your third year. Is um, it third or fourth year doing? Fourth year. Fourth year. What's the best advice you could give someone? Um, keep up on the moss. I I don't treat the whole pond. I don't put a whole bunch in but I spray the edges just with a pump sprayer and uh, I put the dye in probably oh, about once a month. See, I'm pro non-chemical. Uh, have you researched any of the chemical as, as far as how is this going to affect the fish and such? Um, not, not a whole bunch. The, the stuff that I, the not, stuff that you spray for the moss is copper or sulfate. You're not growing any extra digits on your feet? No, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Chester the cat. Huh, well, we might go to break. Hey, Liz, this better be a big fish. Whoa, oh, okay, okay. He's got some shoulders on him. I seen him on ultralight gear. I give him that. I give him that's, that. That's why it takes so long. Yeah, well, that's still a good fish. Yeah, let him go. Oh, man. How are you going to land him with your, what is that, three pound line? No. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. You're going to have to hold him up for the camera. I want you to look how good Chris feeds these fish. That's a channel cat. And he's two years old. Looks like a five pound bullhead. Look how fat he is. That's only two years growth. Yeah. They, they I, when I, I put him Four in inches, uh, five inches when... two Junes ago, and uh, he was about, about five inches, five to seven inches when I put him in. Boy, he looks as healthy as he can be. That's a nice catfish. Way to go, Chris. Thank you. Oh, man, that's a nice looking gill. Look at that. Oh, man. I can hear that gr grease popping in the skillet. <laughs> <laughs> Best tasting fish I mean, I God created. It's been hard for the wife to accept to not eat everything <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I think that's going to be a cat. No, that ain't a catfish. Largey. Every time he catches up, I grab another one. <laughs> that's the littlest blue guy I've caught here today. And I'd still take that one home flaming up in a heartbeat. Because mama didn't raise no fool. Yeah, next year we'll be keeping those. Oh man. 
the bite just turned on. That's a little guy too. Now this one? This is, one, this is a female. Oh, okay. Let me see that thing. And how do you identify a female? Yeah. You know, they're they're not so yellow under here. Okay. The fins are, they're just... You can tell she's a hybrid bill. Yeah. You can tell because of the, she got the turquoise spots and the vein. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I got a jumper. Oh, look at him. Ain't even that big. I mean, he's big and fat, but Chris told me we ain't got into any of the big ones yet. I feel good about that cast right there. See? <laughs> now that's okay getting bad now see in my my book of pond management this would go in a five gallon bucket and either out and to the woods for the possums or in the nearest stream Chris ain't doing it like that and he's he's still growing very big pan fish in here he says a lot of times when they toss his little one back they don't make it back to their uh, spot. He's got some big bass in here to take care of. <coughs> oh, jeez! <laughs> yeah. That one feels better. That's a hybrid. Whoa, look at him going crazy. Oh no, I got him right in the damned eye. That one, it's a male. You got him in the eye? No, I didn't. Some buck, that'd be the last time I invite you over. I know. <laughs> Not playing. Well, we better clean this one. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm telling you, we cleaned 36 of them. Good grief. You got another big one on it. I want you to see okay, something. <laughs> Everywhere you walk in this pond, the bank is littered with fathead minnows. That's how you grow big fish. Give them an unlimited amount of fathead minnows, you'll grow big fish. Whoa, I don't think that was a... That ain't a hybrid, is it? No. That doesn't look like a catfish. Woo! Yeah, it's catfish. <laughs> Good catfish. He's a baby. Yeah, he's a little guy. Yeah! Look at how I hooked him. I hooked him through the top, too. I went down about five feet looking for bigger fish. Oh, look at that. Got, I got a big one. I think it's a bluegill too. Oh, yeah, get up here. Oh, look at this bluegill. Oh. Uh, often I get asked questions on pond management and I like to help people if I walked up on that pond and started fishing and seen all those fish my advice for the, to the owner would be to start pulling fish out of there but Chris has so many fathead minnows in there he, he hand feeds them what daily yeah there's no competition for food in that pond there's, and you've seen the growth <laughs> they're huge but thanks, Chris, for having me along. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. I hope you guys liked it. If you like this video, tap that subscribe, and I'll see you next week. See ya.